Hi everyone and welcome to another video from DespairRepair.com In this video we'll be talking about this part I hope you can see it It's called a crankcase breather We'll be talking about the symptoms of a bad crankcase breather as well as the solutions to this problem DespairRepair.com Although this problem occurred on a Skoda Fabia Mark 1, maybe you can uh, find some useful information for other cars of the Volkswagen group of the same generation or perhaps uh, if you drive a different car type altogether. So bear with me till the end of the video and maybe this will help. Also before we start I'm going to mention all of the symptoms that I experienced in chronological order okay so from the first symptom to the last uh, happened in the last uh, 20 days to the date that this video was uh, was made. I wanted to mention this because uh, it may come in handy to recognize some of the earlier symptoms in order for you to uh, take action before it comes to the bitter end. Now the first symptom that appeared was rough idling. Now to make things clear this wasn't rough idling like when you get a serious misfire or when the ignition coil is faulty or when you have a bad spark plug or something like that. Uh, it was barely noticeable in the beginning but as the problem progressed uh, it sort of got worse. But uh, till the end, till the repair it wasn't that bad to tell you the truth. Also on uh, two occasions the rev count went up to 1500 RPMs. The second symptom I experienced was uh, occasional loss of engine power. Uh, on a scale I would put it like the engine lost about 10% of its power. I say occasional as most of the time the car was perfectly drivable, uh, no problems. When this happened you noticed it best when you wanted to accelerate. The third symptom I encountered was the check engine light coming up on the dash. At the beginning of the problem it seemed to appear for no reason but as the problem got worse right after the mentioned loss of engine power uh, the check engine light would come up. Symptom number four uh, the EPC light, the TCS light and the check engine light came up on the dashboard uh, at the same time while driving. Now this uh, symptom appeared in the later phase of the problem. Also once I turned off the car and started the engine again uh, the EPC and the TCS light were gone only the check engine light was uh, lit up. Uh, also I noticed that this only happened when the car was accelerating. And for the last uh, fifth and most drastic symptom is the appearance of an oil leak under the car. Now in order for you to get a better idea of what happened, we're under the car and beneath the crankcase here, okay? The oil leak appeared under the car, okay? And it was dripping on the back side of the crankcase near the uh, screw for letting the oil out. Now the oil leak wasn't uh, huge, there wasn't a big uh, loss of oil, but every time you leave the car parked there was a small stain under the car. Uh, the first chance I had, I took off the engine cover and made an inspection and tried to find where the oil leak was coming from. Uh, if you want to learn how to take the engine cover off of your car and make an inspection, we've made a separate video on this topic I'll leave a link so if you're interested you can go and take a look anyway once I took a look around the engine in this case I went under the car and saw that the leak was coming from the crankcase breather from the lower part of the crankcase breather on the Skoda the crankcase breather is located on the right hand side looking from the driver's seat near the firewall so we'll go inside the engine bay and hopefully you can see where the crankcase breather is located. So this is the part right here. Besides that, I also noticed an oil leak here 
right under the oil cap okay it wasn't really a leak it was rather like an oil moisture while I was making the inspection I also checked the hose that leads from the crankcase breather to the throttle body in case of the Skoda and the electric connection to the PCV valve. If you're interested what is the PCV valve we'll be uh, talking about that later in the video. To cut a long story short I decided to drive the carts as a mechanic because of the uh, constant lack of time most of us suffer from that because of the availability of the part and because I needed the car as soon as possible for my day job. Uh, I drove the car to the mechanic, I told them openly everything I inspected, what I saw, what I found and uh, later they called me and came to the same conclusion that the crankcase breather was actually the problem. Uh, the best solution for the problem was to change the whole part, uh, which they did and the price of the parts and labor was roughly about 80 euros. But the best part of it all is I got the old crankcase breather back so if you bear with me I can show you uh, what the part really looks like and how it works. So here you have the old crankcase breather from a Skoda Fabia Mark 1 with the 1.4 16 valve engine with 100 brake horsepower. Okay this is how it looks like. This is the part that goes inside the engine. Okay here is where the bolts go into the engine block. This is the PCV valve. This is the electric connection to the valve. And this is the part where the uh, hose goes in that comes, uh, that goes to the throttle body. Uh, anyway, how does the PCV valve uh, work? Well, the mentioned uh, blow-by gases that end up in the crankcase, if they're not uh, vented somehow, the pressure builds up in the crankcase and causes problems. This is where this part comes in. Once the gases are in the crankcase, they enter here and here into this body and come to the PCV valve. The PCV valve or the positive crankcase ventilation valve is in charge of uh, reducing that pressure or when the pressure builds up, it lets the gases out of this body into the hose and uh, into the throttle body. This is essentially a small recycling uh, machine because if it wasn't for this, the blow-by gases would have to be let out into the atmosphere, which is not ecologically acceptable. On this crankcase breather, I think that the uh, main problem uh, was the, the gaskets located here and here. They're pretty, I don't know if you can see this, they're in pretty bad shape. So they probably were the cause of the oil leaking onto the crankcase and onto the ground. Uh, I would also like to mention the DIY option for replacing a crankcase breather. Well, as you can probably conclude, it's not that much complicated. The worst part is that you'll have to go in case of the Skoda under the car because uh, most of the screws can't be reached from the engine bay. Anyway, uh, you have to take off the electrical connector, you have to take off the hose that leads to the throttle body and you have to take off these four bolts. Also, if you decide for a DIY option, I would also recommend to check the hose, this one here, that goes to the throttle body, that it's not clogged with gunk produced from these oil fumes, and to check the electric connection on the PCV valve. Also, if you should decide for the DIY option, make sure that the correct part is available. So don't start before you see at the local car parts shop that it is exactly the part you need. You don't want to end up busting up everything and uh, concluding that you got the wrong part. Uh, one more last advice. If you encounter any of these symptoms and conclude that the crankcase breather is the problem, don't neglect the problem and tend to it as soon as possible. If you postpone repairing it, it can cause a lot of different problems like gasket leaks all over the engine and if uh, neglected for a longer period of time can cause engine damage. Also on uh, other car types, the crankcase ventilation system is less complicated than on the Skoda, which means a better uh, opportunity for a DIY repair. Namely, if you get any of these symptoms, check the PCV valve. On some cars, the PCV valve is separate from the crankcase breather and uh, you can, of course, change it separately, clean it and else. Also, uh, check all of the hoses that lead uh, to the 
crankcase breather okay so that they're not clogged with gunk produced from oil fumes so that's it for this time i hope the video helped if it did give us a like and subscribe also if you find the time share it's a huge help for what we're doing uh, you have a written article in more detail on this topic on our website despairrepair.com there you can also find other useful car and driving tips thanks for watching